So in this conversation of board diversity in the boardroom, we've established that there's ample supply of diverse director candidates out there. Once we go beyond the three gates to the boardroom, prior CEO, prior CFO, prior board experience, we realize that there are director candidates out there who are willing to serve. So how do we create demand? It's in the hands of board of directors. Boards have had the mechanisms and the tools, starting with performance management, to their own succession planning. But in reality, these tenure-limiting mechanisms have lacked teeth. The conference board recently issued a study of proxy statements of Russell 3000 and S&P 500 companies and found that of the Russell 3000 companies, 50% of those companies made no change whatsoever of their board of directors last year. And of the S&P 500, it was approximately 42%. So let's think about that. Half of the Russell 3000 companies did not change their composition at all. On top of that statistic, the same study showed that director tenure is 10 years plus. Those two statistics alone show that the demand is not there, so that there is a clear disconnect between the rhetoric and the reality of what's happening in the boardroom. So what do we do? There's lots of things that boards of directors can do with the tools that they have in hand. The first thing they can do is rewrite the job description. We know that the role of director has changed. With volatility, uncertainty, complexity, ambiguity, the exponential, exponential pace of change, the job of director has changed. We know that. The directors who were recruited and who were still sitting in those seats 10 years ago were recruited for a different job. Ethics, culture, people, purpose, those were not in the job descriptions of those individuals who have been sitting on the boards for 10, 10 or more years. So the job description needs to start with a fresh piece of paper. And then directors need to prioritize what is most important for them. And say it and write it down. Is it diversity or is it something else? But really it comes down to authenticity in the boardroom around this job description. What do we need? Who do we need in and around our boardroom to help us thrive well into the future? Another thing boards can do is to ensure that board performance management and succession planning at the board level is at least as rigorous as performance management and succession planning at the management level. Almost all companies conduct board evaluations. It's a requirement, so you'll see that. The question is, is how robust are these board evaluations? A lot fewer companies actually conduct individual performance evaluations. So what can we do in the boardroom? Because these are uh, emotional issues. We're talking about our fellow directors around the table. It's very hard to shift and change the way we've done things for many years to now all of a sudden we're scrutinizing the directors in our boardroom. One way to ease into this is to start to conduct one-on-one -on -one confidential conversations either conducted by the nominating government governance chair, perhaps the lead independent director, or maybe a third party from the outside. Again, to start to ease into a more robust evaluation program. Another thing a company can do is a multi-year board refreshment program. What this does is takes the personalities and the individuals and the names out of the picture, but rather really focuses on traits and needs over time, and it takes some of the pressure off of individual performance. There are other tenure-limiting mechanisms in the boardroom that, if together taken, are enforced, could increase turnover in the boardroom. Everything from term limits to retirement ages, the conference board study I cited before shows that ages are rising up to 75 or more in the boardroom for retirement age. Overboarding policies, resignation policies, these are all good policies 
that nothing really new has to be created in the boardroom. What needs to happen is the existing infrastructure needs to be strengthened.